Hey guys, absolutely beautiful day out today. As you can see, like 70 something degrees and we are gonna do a little install in the bed of this truck. Excuse all the mud, by the way. We're about to fix this at the car wash, but um, I was a little bit busy yesterday. So what we're gonna be doing here is in the bed. We're gonna be adding bed lighting because obviously with a tonneau cover on or at night in general, you just can't see what you're doing in here, what you're trying to grab. Um, so we're gonna be running bed light around the perimeter, around the top, um, and we're gonna wire it so that it turns on when your, your dome light would turn on. Um, so you can just hit the unlock button and it turns the lights on. So let's get this thing washed up. So we're back, it's clean. We got super sidetracked, so the sun's already going down, but um, just gonna show you what you guys need for this. Probably not gonna start this tonight here, but um, we got the lights themselves. They have 3M stick tape. This has just a positive negative, so test it on a drill battery to fix, figure out which side's which, because um, LEDs are polar, so if you put the negative to the positive, they're not gonna work on like a halogen, which works both. When I got my connectors, which I had never tried these before. I saw them, they look pretty sweet. It's a shrink wrap tube um, with a solder ring inside. So all I gotta do is slip the wires in it and then hit it with the heat gun and they melt and have a watertight seal. Here, this is wire that's gonna be run from um, the driver's side door where the, um, the source for the uh, dome light comes from. So we're gonna run that under the truck. So to protect that wire, we have a wire loom and you're gonna zip ties to hold it all together. Keep... So got that um, and then just normal electrical, electrical tools, strippers and stuff like that. So basically that's all we're gonna use here. Um, I gotta clean up this bed and get my tonneau cover off for ease of access in the back. And then um, we'll start getting this wire run from the front. All right, so pretty much the first step for this is we gotta find our source. Underneath this trim, there's a bundle of wires going through the truck. From my research, I'm pretty sure it was a white wire with a tan stripe going down. So, so let's pull this up like that. And it just has clips. And then this piece, too. This is just one piece like that. As you can see, there's this box. So you got your bundle of wires coming into this box. So we're gonna open the box. So here's our bundle of wires. White with tan. You can see, I cut this and I turned on my cargo light and it's not on. So that, that tells us that that is the correct wire. So now we're gonna connect this up with our source wire that's gonna run all along the bottom of the truck. This is the uh, original wire here and here. I added in a piece of wire just because, I mean, they weren't, there was no slack. So I'm adding this in so there's a little slack to work with. And then I'm adding in this third wire, which this is gonna go to the back of the truck to the lights. So <clears throat> now we're gonna take our wire and we're going to run it through one of these ports. So you can see right there, that's your parking brake. So run it all the way through to get it snug. And then come under the truck. Bushings and push down. I'm gonna tuck this up in here. Put back together. We just gotta throw in our trim pieces and stuff. Like this guy. Like this. There's clips here. It's so easy you can do it with one hand. And then pull them out. Got our wire stretched out and we uh, threw some uh, this wire loom over it to protect it underneath the truck. So now we're gonna just take zip ties and we're gonna zip it along the bottom. Parking brake cable comes down, we wire to that, and then once it ends, it'll go up to the frame up there. You come down back here. It's going over there to the frame. 
and then that's where it's going to come up into the bed as you can see this is where the bed meets the cab that's our thing right there and there is a you can see it right here that's a cover that black thing that's a cover that goes into the bed so we can wire right through that all right so now we're gonna stick the lights in so basically you want to lay them along the along the edge i'm going to start with one flush mounted here so shining into the bed and then the next one will be up like here two three like that make sure you clean off the surface as best you can and then what i do is i take my heat gun and i hit it on the 3m tape a little bit So now we're under the passenger side bedside and you can see that's the, the light wire coming down and we're going to feed it across the truck. We are on the bed. This thing. Um, so we got your source, which is going to get cut. Um, we have the driver's side and then the passenger side coming out. So we're going to connect all three together, make a um, ground, connect the, the grounds too. So run that to somewhere in the frame and then we'd pretty much be all set besides tucking up wires and making it look nice. So after doing some testing, um, I ended up feeding a second wire. This one's this your positive right here that's coming from the source. This is your ground wire. Feed it down, and I just hooked it into the ground that's pretty visible into the dash just to test it. So I'm gonna unlock it. These will come on, and same with those. Lock. All right, so these are both connected. Test them, they work, definitely. So what we're gonna do is tuck these all back in here, hide them. All you're gonna see is one little black wire coming out, just like that side. And then we're gonna put the cap back on. So we got a ground wire run, that's this wire, comes right up the same way we ran the uh, the source wire. So basically just threw it in the wire loom with that wire. Comes up here and you can see you have a, a pretty ma major ground here which we're connecting it into. So once you do that, we're just going to button all this stuff up again and um, we're pretty much set. Here's our finished product and it looks awesome. Hope this video gave you guys some good ideas about doing this yourself. Highly recommend it. It is... Uh, extremely helpful with the tonneau cover down and um, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like these.